and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate video, guys. And today, I'm going to go over what you guys need to be doing before Series 4 and Theme Diamond 2 promo come out. And I was going to cover Ultimate Legends in this video, but I will be saving that for tomorrow because that does come out Saturday. But beyond all of that, guys, there's a lot of stuff you want to be doing before Series 5 and Theme Diamond 2.0 has come out. First things first, guys, before we get in on, over into this video and we go over all the stuff, because there is quite a few, quite a few things that have come out today. If you guys haven't already, I definitely recommend you guys go check out some of the videos I posted today. I went over the theme diamonds and all in depth by itself, as well as the other content such as NFL Honors and Series 5 in depth. So make sure you guys go check out those videos. But beyond that, guys, before we get into this video, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Can we get 300 likes or even 400 likes on this video guys that'd be greatly appreciated as well as make sure to subscribe we are super close we're 800 subscribers away from 20,000 i'm super excited to hit that big milestone guys i cannot wait to finally hit it so if you guys are watching you're new come join the family you won't regret it now as you guys know nfl honors lamar did come out i don't think i'll be picking him up although i've been i've been thinking about him all year but i can't afford that that's like that's an absurd amount of coins it's really not worth it for that i mean maybe it is but for the time being, I'm going to have to wait, guys. But let's get into what you should be doing before Series 4. First things first, guys. What I'm about to be starting right now, you guys want to be getting your multiplayer wins in. I'm about to go start right now getting my multiplayer wins in. So I have until tomorrow at 1030, so it's going to be a little tight. But as you guys see, I'm kind of close. So I am 19 wins away from getting 50 wins, which will give me 120 trophies total, 1660, which is exactly what I need to get to my John Madden collectible. So I highly recommend you guys get those done because you don't have to get to finish this, right? But what if you're like right here like you have like 200 like 198 wins and you're two away go check your series progression list see how close you are to finishing something because you really don't want to be the guy that ends up being close to something and not getting it and getting those extra trophies but as you guys know things trophies will be cutting in half tomorrow so you definitely want to be getting as many as you can now and that is the reason right to make this make more sense to you guys competitive currency coach john madden is 10 a uh, thousand a thousand trophies for one collectible so i'm pretty much 19 multiplayer wins away now, if I don't complete this today, my trophies will be cut down to about 442-ish, and then I'll be 600 away. So I'd much rather get it now, done now, while I still can, before I end up getting screwed by getting cut in half. Now, if I don't hit it, I might just very well go ahead and buy some of these and kind of convert it into coins, because I'd rather go down to like 300 and get cut in half to 150, than get cut in half to like 400. I mean, I'll be close again, but this is what happened to me last time. I don't want to make that mistake again. Now, beyond that... You guys might want to start getting some of your journeys done just to get that out of there. So they are dropping Journey 3 tomorrow, which means we will get a third Journey collectible, a third Journey collectible uh, like expert token. And there's already been two Journeys, so that does mean that if you get all three, there should at some point be a set where you could use all three of them for a master. Same thing with Gauntlet. We didn't hear anything about Gauntlet, though, so maybe that's the next series. But again, you want to be getting those done just so that when it comes out, you don't have to be like grinding, catching up on all these solos. By the way, the Max Mutt level thing, thing the Max Mutt level uh, grind starts again tomorrow. And if you guys didn't see the rewards, go check out that video. I'm not going to cover all of them, but we do get a 97 overall power pass and 96. So you definitely want those because the 97 can get you like a free Christian McCaffrey NFL Honors, a free Stephon Gilmore NFL Honors. The 96 can get you a bunch of Team of the Year players. So definitely want to be taking advantage of that. So as of today, get caught up to the max mutt level. If you guys are level 60 and you need to get to level 80, it should take you no longer than like six hours. I know that sounds like a blot, but if you play an hour now, play an hour later, do an hour or two in the morning, you'll be a lot closer. You definitely want to get to level 80. Because level 80 to 90 gets you at least 400,000 coins worth of quick sells, platinum cards. You also get free legend fantasy packs, which you can use to pull NFL honors players, NFL, yeah, NFL honors players, and ultimate legends. So you definitely want to get up there. And the, the the pass, the 97 pass, is one of the best passes, well, the best pass we've gotten all year, that we can use for limited time honors players. So definitely something you want to be doing. Now, beyond even that, the mutt level grind tomorrow will probably take, I'd say, about four hours, because it's a little bit longer. It usually takes about three, but we are, as you get progress, progressively higher. It requires more XP, so probably gonna take close to about four hours. So if you have, if you're only level like 60 right now and you combine it all, it's gonna take you like a week or two to do. Cause I know you guys don't want to do that all straight. So definitely just get your levels done now. Get caught up to date. Remember the expert tokens as well as your trophies want to be used. Now beyond that, what comes out? We get new power ups. We get new Redux cards. Obviously, we've increased odds. So if you're gonna open packs, maybe wait till tomorrow, anyways. And just be ready for the grind. I always see the series updates as like a injection of steroids right into Madden. Gonna give us something to grind for. Now, guys, getting into theme diamonds, what do we want to do tomorrow? So, you guys already know how theme diamonds work, and if you don't, I'll explain them real quick for all of you. So, coming over to the theme diamond sets. 
the way they work it's pretty much just one fan favorite type legend from a specific team and there'll be 32 of them with a master set now the master set is going to be night train lane 98 overall again if you want to see all the stats and everything make sure to go check out my other video to go over all that but there's gonna be 32 cards now each set just like these will require players from that team but these won't be base elites the new ones are going to be players from like a veteran player for like maybe a chief set it might be like tyron matthew uh flashback you guys get the point now what that pretty much means is guys a lot of cards in your binder could increase in overall so i wouldn't recommend selling things in your binder today unless they're themed diamonds now remember we are going to be getting free theme diamonds and free nat cards for some of the nat uh, solos that we're going to be playing so some of those cards like theme diamonds are kind of going down in price because they're not really going to be used so theme diamonds went down so if you have theme diamonds you'll probably sell them off at this point i don't think you really need to hold them unless you want to wait there could be an exchange set but as far as players in the set i would wait to binder clean until tomorrow see what comes out you might have some players that are top pieces in these sets and they could go from like 100k to 150 and even though it's only 50k if you have like four players that go up 50 20k you could end up with a few hundred k extra so definitely just make sure to be checking your binder tomorrow to see what increases in value tomorrow as well as your golds go up because if let's say it's low elites you need you can maybe exchange golds up to low elites a lot of reasons to do it and the night train lane set obviously usually requires a master token from every single one of them so that card's going to be crazy expensive as of tomorrow i really don't even want to know how expensive that card's going to be because it's going to be it's going to be crazy it's going to be very expensive so for the most part i don't really plan to pick up night train lane for quite a while but there's going to be solos, by the way, tomorrow. So what do you want to prioritize tomorrow, by the way, just so you know? I'd prioritize the maximum level grind before Theme Diamonds. End of the day, Theme Diamond cards, they're not, so you can get them whenever. They're not like the price is going to change. I'd prioritize the maximum level grind because maximum level grind to me is the best part of Madden sometimes. Definitely want to get going on that level grind because the rewards just are unmatched. I really want that 96 overall power pass. I'm going to give you guys a quick little heads up on what you could use that on because I know a lot of you guys tomorrow, whoever get it early before I make my power pass video, you guys are probably going to be wondering, I'm just going to toss it in here real quick. The power pass is going to be a 96 and a 97. So you can get any cards pretty much from here and up in the game, minus the 98. So any, pretty much any team of the year card that you probably wanted, you could probably afford at this point with that power pass, as long as they can be powered up. One decent advice here is that if you want to get a pretty good value for a power pass, if you put your 96 power pass into Calais Campbell, you can get his NFL honors for pretty much free because he automatically updates to it. So just remember that if you can power him up already, and you put your power pass into him, you pretty much use a 96, you end up with like a 98 powered up Calais Campbell. A quick little like Madden hack right there. A little um, convenient tip. And then beyond that, you can do whatever you want. I mean, you can get Sherman, you can get Tyree Kill, whatever you really want in this game when it comes to the 97 one. But just so you guys know, that's how a power pass is used. I do have a video on my channel going over how to use a power pass for all you guys who, don't, who are new, maybe from Christmas and don't know what that is. But I pretty much think that wraps up kind of what you want to be doing before everything drops. Remember, we have a big content day tomorrow for the most part. We're getting, a, uh, we're getting a journey, we're getting power passes, a level grind, we're getting a brand new theme diamond promo, we're getting Ultimate Legends the following day, and Weekend League's dropping. I don't know how many of you guys still play Weekend League, but that is coming tomorrow. I will be playing Weekend League probably tomorrow because I do want to get my trophies nice and early. I don't really want to be waiting till last minute to get my trophies. And for all you guys wondering, advice on should you be picking up these new players, as far as NFL Honors goes, give it another day or two for Lamar and Christian. They're really expensive right now. I don't think they're worth it at this price point. Wait to see what ultimate I would wait for ultimate legends to drop and some of the journey stuff to, and everything to happen first because if you wait for all that stuff to happen first it could help the market a little bit in terms of if they announce like a Michael Vick ultimate legend on Saturday to start it off Lamar might come down in price if uh, Michael Vick's a little bit better and Michael Vick will be cheaper so just make sure to keep that in mind I definitely think Lamar's the best quarterback but that price is just absurd I cannot justify that price by any means necessary I pretty much think that wraps up guys so a quick little checklist rundown you definitely want to get to level up as much as you can today so you're not screwed for the level up grind tomorrow make sure you're leveling up get your multiplayer wins done if you're close to 60 and you're at 55 get 60 if you're at 78 get 80 make sure to get the next bracket of the level up grind for you guys because you i mean the multiplayer wins because you do not want to be missing out on some extra trophies at the end of the series especially if you're near the end because you got all the way there to that 120 make sure you're getting your theme dot check in your binder tomorrow I'm wanting to make sure that you are ready to go do not sell much tonight i i I cannot like stress that enough. Do not sell a lot of your stuff because tomorrow it could be very valuable if it's in the sets. As well as, hopefully you guys enjoy it. It will be coming out tomorrow. They did do the stream this morning, unlike they usually do for a series update at night. So we know everything. So we're ready to go. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. I might be doing a 96 power pass video tonight just to make sure you guys are ready for tomorrow when it comes out. I might do it tonight. I might do it in the morning. I might not do it at all. It really just depends on the scheduling of my vids. But guys, it's better for the video. If you're new to the channel, Make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that on your bell boys. Come join the family. 
get to 20k as quickly as possible i'm super hyped for that milestone comment down below what you guys think of this video like do you guys think we should be there's anything else that i missed that you should be doing before uh series five and the theme diamond promo are you guys excited what are you guys more excited for series five theme diamond or ultimate legends let me know down below i kind of want to see what you guys are thinking right now make sure you give this video a big thumbs up can we get 200 likes in this video that'd be greatly appreciated guys thank you so much for watching i'm out see you in the next video peace